Something that can always look really nice on a web page is having an image media carousal or slider of separate images going across. Thankfully with Elementor, that's really easy to do. So all we need to do is come to our page and create a, uh, a new single column section. And then what I'm gonna do with that section, just so we can see a little bit better, is change this to a minimum height. So 400 pixels should be fine. And now come up here to our widgets uh, toolbar, and then we can scroll on down. And on a general, we're gonna find the image carousal widget. So let's drag this into our page. So standard, we're just gonna get this really sort of small gray bar here. Don't worry, come on over to up here where it says no images selected. And that's gonna take you through to your media library. So if you haven't got your photos uploaded yet, you can do that here under Upload Files. Otherwise, come to the Media Library, grab some that you want. You can hold down Shift to select multiple rows. And uh, if there's any dotted about that you want as well, you can hold down Command and then click those. And then you can select them like that. And come on over, click Create New Gallery down here. And then from here, what we can do is drag and drop these into a different order. So we can get them into the order that we want them to be in. And when you're happy with that, Come on over, click on Insert Gallery, and they'll appear on your page. So, things that we can do from here. Over on the left, we first of all got the image size. So at the moment they're thumbnails. If I change this, you'll see that that's going to increase the size of them. And the higher that we go here, it's then gonna increase the resolution because obviously it can't physically go any bigger. So if I go to full, the actual image size stays the same. It's just improving the resolution quality, but you don't need to do that because it's effectively using more file size than you need to. So just have this down at say medium large for this size. It's gonna be absolutely fine. We've then got uh, the slides to show. So at the moment we have it as default. Now there are uh, eight I believe that I selected, so I could just choose eight and it's gonna put them all up there on a line for us, but I like it as default. And then slides to scroll. So again, we could do the same thing. Uh, next we've got things like arrows and dots. So here, arrow, here, dot. So if we click these, it'll take us to that particular place on the uh, carousal. But we can change it if we want. We could just have the dots. That's going to lose the arrows. Likewise, just the arrows. Or you could have none at all if you wanted. But I'm going to leave it with both because I think that looks pretty good. Obviously a link if you want to link this to a custom URL or a media file. If we do it as a media file, when you click on it, it's going to bring it up as a light box, and then you can obviously browse through it that way. But I'll close that down. Click back on our little pencil icon to get back to the editor. And uh, then you can also choose whether or not you want to show a caption. So if I choose title, then it's going to show our image titles down here. This is why you want to be changing those before you upload them to your media library which is good for SEO as well, but it means that you can then display them here and you're not gonna have silly names like I've currently got on here. And uh, when you've done that, you could also choose to have a caption. So both the caption and the description, if I just show you, if I come back up here to the media library. So let's just click on this one, for example. When you're uploading uh, photos, you can obviously add the title to the alt text and then you can add a caption and you can add a description of the image as well. So what you put here is gonna get dragged through and will be displayed by the images if you were to choose the uh, description or caption options. I haven't got those, so I'm gonna leave them on none. We then have additional options. So this is where we can choose whether or not we want it to auto play. When somebody just visits the site, it's gonna already be playing for them, which I think is quite nice. So personally, I'd leave that on, but obviously you can turn it off if you want to. Pausing on hover is always a good idea. This means when somebody is hovering over a particular image, it's not gonna be uh, keeping to play through so they can have a good look at it. Exactly the same as pause and interaction. So if they're gonna click on it, it doesn't that way keep on going past the uh, photo they were wanting to look at. We then have the autoplay speed. Don't confuse this with the animation speed. So the animation speed is when it's just changing there between the two, so you could increase or decrease that. The actual autoplay speed is when it's going through the overall gallery that we've just created, and this is in milliseconds. So effectively, 5,000 milliseconds is five seconds. So in other words, it's basically saying that this is gonna change every five seconds unless we hover over it, and the animation speed is half a second. So it only takes half a second for it to switch, like it just did, between one and the other. And then it's telling it that it's going in this leftward direction. We could switch that to right if we wanted to, and now it's all gonna slide over to the right. But 
left is um, what's used more often, so I'd probably suggest leaving it on that. And then when you've done that, you can come on up to style, and from here we can start to make this look a little bit better. So again, the arrow position, we could stick these on the outside if we want to, and obviously that's going to shrink the images down. I prefer them on the inside, I think it looks a little bit better. If you're struggling to see them, you can increase the size of those arrows, like this. You can do exactly the same with the dots, we could put them on the outside or the inside of the images. This is the reverse, I think it's more difficult to see when it's on the inside, so personally I'd have them on the outside. And you can increase the size of those as well, just like this. We can then change the colour of them if we want to. Find something that you like the look of. And uh, I forgot to say, you could also do that with the arrows. So if we wanted to make them grey so they stand out a little bit more, or blue, we can do that. And then down here you've got the option to change the image around. So if we go to image, you've got uh, default spacing. If we do custom, it's going to force a, a gap between these and we can then either increase or decrease that gap down. So if we just want a small border like that, we can have it. I think I'll make it five. And then you can choose a border type. So at the moment there is no border. If we wanted a frame, we could do that. I could choose solid, double, dotted, dashed, etc. And then you can change the width. So if I increase this, this is going to effectively increase the size of our frame. But I'll put that back to how it was. You can change the color if you want. So at the moment it's this color. We can change that. And then border radius, if I increase this, it's going to start to curve these. Now, if we turn off the border, then we don't need to have one at all. And now we've just curved our images, which can also look quite nice. And don't forget that you don't have to have them all uh, curved either. So what we could do is change this one to zero, unlink them, and then we could change this to, let's say, 30. And then we could do this one over here at 50. And now we're starting to get a little bit more of an interesting shape. So small curve there, larger curve here, and obviously two sharp edges. You could change that around how you like it and start to get something that uh, looks quite interesting. And that's pretty much it for the image carousal gallery. It does make it nicer than just having a static image on a page, I think. So have a play around with that. If you're wanting to do stuff like add text over the top of it, you could always add a text module underneath and then you could use the advanced section and the margins to move the text up over the images if you wanted to. But more than likely, if you're wanting to have a, an actual background slider image, then you need to do something different. So for example, if we wanted to have an image in the background and we wanted that to slide through, that's a completely different option. It is possible with Elementor, uh, the free version as well. And I'm gonna do a separate tutorial that'll just show you how to do that. Um, but just so that you know where it is, you'd come up to the section and then here under the image, instead of having it as a classic background type, over on the right, you've got slideshow. And that's how you can create that. But if that's what you want to do, check out the video that I'm doing on that one, as that's going to go into more detail for you, and you'll see exactly how to do it. I'll try and remember to put the uh, link in the description for you of this video, but alternatively, just check out the, uh, the whole playlist and you'll be able to find it there.